Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are out here on the launch pad with another RA9. This has the uh, Norseman Mars Mapsat. It's an exact copy of the one that we failed to launch a long, long time ago. It has not been updated. <laughs> Nothing about it has changed and hopefully the RL10s in our second stage will not fail and we can actually put this uh, in orbit of Mars. A little too long there on the launch pipes. Really, the only thing that's going to cause a problem for is these uh, E1 power boosters. They might hit their time limit and fail. But uh, I'm hoping that we're well within threshold. So, this is RD275. Oh, come on. All right. Uh, it looked like it was just a vapor in the feed lines. We do not have an engine failure. Uh, we've got about four minutes to go until Apogee. Uh, I just I wish I could turn off the thrusters there on the probe. I guess we're going to have to refill those from our transfer stage when the time comes. Whatever fuel they have access to is probably pretty slim at the moment. Uh, we just need to get this back pointed prograde. Oh, hi, oy vey. <laughs> I like how we got one engine that fired and one engine that did not. That's always All right, that one's stable. That one's stable. Let's hope they stay that way. We got about a degree of inclination to, to rectify mission. All right, both engines are lit. We are back on schedule. Let's see if we can't get ourselves a little more precisely lined here. Uh, really, a degree or so is not my utmost concern. We do need to angle down a bit. Uh, that apoapsis is... I would like to keep it under 200 for Apogee currently. Oh, man, our relative inclination is going up. This is relative to the moon, not relative to Mars. So, also not a huge concern, considering this is a map set. It's supposed to go into a polar orbit. Maybe we can make that work in our favor. All right, 199 by 150. It's uh, not pretty, but it's what we're gonna get. There's our last failed mission. There's our target. We can get rid of rendezvous planner and instead bring out our maneuver planner. And we'll just let it figure its computations. Alright, ASAP, create. Alright, um, I'll take that. Yeah, 3890. Not bad at all. 
All right, how long we got? Uh, 49 minutes until time to burn. I guess we should get ourselves angled in here while we still have connection. So I, I will probably actually just uh, time or fast forward through this. You guys don't have to watch this nice long slow spin and then a time warp up to the node. So for you guys this will only take a second or two. You can watch our boil off in effect here. All right, we can just go a little bit. Oh, yeah, I flew right past it again, of course. Uh, all right, RL10s, please, please do not fail me now. That one's stable, that one's stable. Light them up. All right, we're going. Let's lay on these thrusters while we're at it. Very pretty. Alright, I'm not going to make you guys watch a 10 minute burn, even though I've started it just a teensy bit late. And that's pretty, isn't it? So, enjoy the timing warps. Alright, that's uh, all of our spent hydrogen. Yeah, just a, just a little bit left. Alright, stage that out. I guess we should unlock some of our fuels here. Get ourselves clear the stage. Unlock the rest of our fuels here. Like the AJ-10. <laughs> that gave quite a kick. All right, only about 500 meters per second to go off of uh, our transfer stage. That is also going to be responsible for putting us into orbit at Mars. Luckily enough, well, that's uh, that's quite nice, isn't it? I mean, this thing is kind of a hot mess, but all of this is very pretty. <laughs> I should be watching the Delta V tick down, surely. <laughs> Alright, uh, how's our electric charge? Cool, we are topped off and stable. Fantastic! So everything is looking green for our MAPSAT mission, which is amazing. As I don't even think we have a contract to map Mars, or get into orbit of Mars anymore. We failed a bunch of contracts. <laughs> Uh, with the failure of our last mission, and I think the time, the time for an uncrewed Mars lander uh, contract has expired. So we took a uh, about a 500,000 credit hit on that one. Oh, I, yeah. We need to... Oh, we don't have a connection currently. Oh, crap. This doesn't have, an, oh, it does have long range comms of its own, right there. But we don't have a connection. Oh, whoop. Not paying attention again. All right, 3.5 meters per second. Let's. I do believe our telemetry gives us a hit. I should have taken the time to come. No, we're not going to, yeah. Focus view, thank you very much. We currently are way up here. We would like to be way down here. So hopefully we can correct this with RCS. We do have limited ignitions on that AJ-10. So let's just see if we can't bump this down a bit. Yes, it's moving. All right. Just holding the H key to use our RCS thrusters to push us in a forward direction. 
So as long as we can stay on that node and hold the H key and steer ourselves. Uh, I have this feeling like it's going to be way more than a meter per second to get us down to there. So why don't we just try holding this relative direction. Oh, no, that's pushing us away now. All right, we're going to have to do this with a separate node on a course correction. The first thing, oh good, now that we have connection, is to turn on our uh, long-range comms. Earth. Okay. Earth. Okay. <laughs> Just two more, promise. Yes. I wonder what our electric charge looks like now. Gotcha. All right. That's all of our comms. Charge. Are showing a draw. We are also not optimized or in direct sunlight at all. That's interesting. All right. Backspace. Let's see if we can't get this node plotted. I won't make you watch this, don't worry. All right, that's what we're going to do. It is in 131 days. Not bad. We'll just add ourselves an alarm here. Uh, okay, sorry. My computer hiccuped a bit there, but we are, uh, we're good. Everything's fine. Everything is just fine. Okay, we have a mission that's on target and on task. This is awesome. Now I just need to know how much fuel I lost by letting my fuel balls deplete. Nothing. Really? Where was that fuel coming from then? Uh, I think there was probably a core up in here somewhere that I did not lock because everything else seems to be okay. All right, well, we're not going to worry about it. That's going to do it for us today. Um, hope I think this is our last Mars launch for a while. We do have some correction burns coming up for our for our Jupiter program, uh, which are way the hell out here. No, that's soft one. That's going to Saturn. That's Jupiter. That should be Jupiter two. Yep, yeah, there's the DOS P1. Where's our other Jupiter probe? That should be relatively close also, right? Right? Where did it go? Can't tell me it's so close to DOS P1. I thought it was... Uh-oh. Are we missing a flight? Did I forget something? Alright, we'll figure it out in the VAV. <laughs> I'm not going to bore you guys with this stuff. So anyway, thanks for hanging out, everybody. That's going to do it for today's episode. Uh, until next time, I will see you later.